Hey guys, William Murphy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. So lots of change around here. The Clio that was once parked here is now gone. The insignia that's once parked there is also now gone. See ya car. In its place, I have a new car. So before we get into the new car, we have had the Nissan Leaf for three months. And uh, overall, been very pleased. The only issue we have is where we found the slight issue when charging the other night. Um, we went to charge publicly because we had a, a, a day out, me and Amber, a night away and uh, yeah, it didn't work, so um, that wasn't good. And then they charge us £25 for the privilege of not working. Bad electric car. Um, but anyway, less about this. We'll come back to this another time. Um, let's get on to the new car. It's this. You may remember this from the channel. So this is my parents' old uh, Ford Cougar. So they have just upgraded to a new Seat 4x4. Uh, I cannot tell you what the name of it is, uh, but um, yes. So they were going to clean it for me and then ran out of time. So tonight I'm going to be cleaning the car. Um, you'll see the, the Nissan is, is wet. We've just had this Sahara rainfall. And this, actually, look at this. This could be. No, it's not. There's a, a brand new 73 plate tractor, a New Holland driving around the village i clocked it earlier woo um so yeah this is this is the new car uh it has been on the channel previously we've done brakes we've done a service um i think what else we've done on it oh uh, i've done an alternator um and yeah it's it's a lovely car it has had a tow bar fitted it is the st line x model it's a four by four two liter turbo i think twin turbo diesel actually um, I might be mistaken there, but yeah, it's half leather, half Alcatara. Um, very pretty. Um, be nice once it's uh, clean. It's a nice, um, actually, a pearlescent white. Um, don't know how well you're going to see it in this, but all this stuff here, this is um, Saharan rain, like sand rain, whatever it's called. So I'm going to give it a wash and hopefully make it all shiny. So that's my job for this evening. So I'm just washing the car. It's just had a jet wash so far and it looks really clean. However, <laughs> when I uh, take a closer look and do something like this, it's actually really filthy still. And the other thing is, I've, I've spotted a bit of a design fault with this vehicle because everything goes up and over and swirls round. I mean, when you open the door, all the mud actually just splashes into the inner wheel arch. <laughs> um, it doesn't go into the cabin, which is great, but that needs a lot of cleaning. So I may look at putting some sort of uh, coating on there or something to try and force the water away. Mm. Anyway, most of the clean is done. I say clean, I've just rinsed it. I've just rinsed the, uh, the sand off. Uh, it does need a wash though, so if it doesn't get too dark too quickly, I will go over it. Bit of a gapping issue here, bit of a bigger gap there. And possibly here, I need to compare that to the other side. Um, I haven't done this side of the car yet, but um, a few things I'm, I'm, well, I'm not happy with. I think that I just wouldn't have. So when my parents had this car, they had some rim protectors put on it, which were then siliconed onto the wheels, which well, look awful to start with. But now they've come off, you've got black wheels and you've got a couple of bits of curbing and stuff, they look terrible. <clears throat> so there's not on that wheel. Uh, not on that wheel, it's come off as well. Ah, there we go. It's there. So it sticks out like this, and what it's supposed to do is how you catch the curb. So normally you have a bit of a ridge on the tyre. 
But in this case, you've got these uh, things. Um, I mean, in theory, they work great. In reality and practicality, well, they're pretty much useless because, you know, three of them have fallen off and one of them is still standing. And the rest of the wheels are covered now in a silicon tar, which I have to try and clean off. So, um, yes. But no, I, I, I sound like I'm not liking it. I'm actually really happy. I've done nearly 100 miles in the car in the, today. Um, really comfy. Good miles per gallon. £180 a year on tax. Pretty pleased. Let's get washed before it gets too dark. So we are sometime now in the future. Um, the car has been with us for a few months. The EV has been with us for a few months. And the other two cars have been gone for a few months. So just a little update for the channel. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have done, please consider becoming a subscriber. Leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button. And um, look forward to seeing you again very soon. There's plenty more content on this car and other cars and other videos to come. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you again.